Hey guys, welcome back to another work with me. So today I thought I'd try something different. I'm actually doing one of those step-by-step -step Instagram pictures that you see right here on your screen right now. So that's who I've gotten it from. I don't know how to pronounce that name. And actually all of the hashtags on the bottom and everything, even when I hit translation, I could get zero information off of it. But that is the account that I'm getting it from. And I kind of have it propped up on my client armrest just so I'm able to see it. So that's actually, I think, the last time probably that you guys are going to see it. But I'm getting everything out right now. I'm using all Glitter Bells products other than my um, daughter tool, of course, and my Get Buffed brushes, which are my favorite. So I just kind of up and decided to do this. I was scrolling through Instagram and looking for what potentially might be, you know, another idea to be able to do for some nail art. And I kind of found this and I thought, I've never actually followed one of those. So I think I want to try that. So I have two white tips here that are polished and they have matte top coat on them. I end up actually only using one, but I wasn't sure. You know how that works sometimes. You mess one up, and I really just wanted to have another one for backup. So that's what I did. So I am really just trying to recreate this. Of course, I mess up a couple of things um, because it is kind of last minute. You can see me wiping right there. I was like, nah, that's not going to work. Um, because I am trying to get the same depth and they didn't actually use any black in their outline or the branch outline and I was using black in the branch outline so I did decide to go back. The one I'm picking at right now is actually a dark green from Glitter Bells. I purchased all of my Glitter Bells through the Nail Throne and down below there is a discount code for the Nail Throne. And if you go on her website, she actually has weekly Friday clearance sections. So make sure you check that out every single week because it's amazing. It's amazing that she's able to do that for us. So definitely go check that out. But I'm kind of starting to do my uh, branch here. You guys correct me down below. Is that fir or spruce? What actually am I doing there? I, I don't really know. But drinking my tea is one thing that I am doing here. And of course, we're in and out of the light, which is what you see generally when I um, flash cure like that. I'm only flash curing for about 10 seconds. This isn't going on an actual hand. It's not going out the door or going to be showering later or doing dishes or what have you. So I tend to not worry as much when I'm doing my tip nail art as when I'm doing, of course, a client nail art. <clears throat> Now, the one thing when I do teach nail art workshops that I try to reiterate over and over and over again is it's all about the layers, guys. It's really all about the layers. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. And I get really into like the layers of making this look realistic, the highlights, the lowlights. And I actually kind of forgot to leave a little space for the berries, which they do have in their drawings. So it's my bad. Um, but it's remedied later. It's something that really didn't hurt anything. So I'm flash curing that again. And then coming into my silver. So I decided to use a little bit of stainless for some highlight. So I'm doing both highlight and low light because I feel like that's very important when you're doing something like this. When you look at your nail art and you're thinking, it's just not finished, it just doesn't look right, it doesn't look like what I pictured in my head I wanted it to look like, always question your highlights and your low lights. Sometimes a little bit of white or a lighter color on a dotting tool or an itty bitty brush just to be able to put that one highlight mark will bring it all together so nicely. It's, it's almost hard to believe sometimes how much a highlight or a low light 
will change the look of your design and how realistic it looks. So what I'm doing here, this is a magic gel. I believe it is uh, vanilla ice and I guess you kind of can't see it there, but I stuck my finger in the, in the lid to be able to dry brush that on there because in the, uh, in the picture, I'm going to try to post it here, but in the picture, there's just a little bit of glimmer and I wasn't sure how I wanted to get that on there, but I thought, why not just, you know, finger paint <laughs> because I feel like there was a time that I did a lot of my nail art with really odd objects rather than, you know, dotting tools and nail art brushes because there was a time doing nail art when we didn't have these really cool get breath brushes or many of the other amazing brands that are out there. So right now I'm, I'm literally just kind of talking that over with myself. This is my, um, this is my unbelievable gels white. And you can see when I opened it that it's coming apart. <laughs> I've dropped it just too many times. So I'm setting on my dots, which will become my berries. Because I didn't leave an opening for the berries, I thought I would do a little white to lay down a base, so to speak, for them so that they would be nice and bright with the red. The red I'm using here is Red Camaro. Um, if you've been around for a minute, you know that Red Camaro is my all-time favorite cream red. I'm actually wearing it on my hands right now, as you can see. And I am wearing the Gel X Short Square, Natural Short Square, um, Apre Tips. So those are so much fun, especially this time of year for a nail tech, so that I don't have to do my own. I don't hardly ever use them on clients. It's just something that, I mean, I do acrylic, so it's just not something I offer, but I do absolutely love them for myself. So I'm into the red here and just going right over where I went with the white. I wasn't going to voice this over, but I thought it would be boring without it. And you might be kind of have questions and be wondering what I'm doing. But if you have any questions, pop them down below. And I'll do my level best to answer them. I don't actually, I don't think at all, end up using the neon kind of yellow color. I thought I might want that for a highlight, even to mix. But it never really came out. I always kind of, I really enjoy having more things out than what I need. Because sometimes it just interrupts the flow when you have to go reaching for something. So what I'm doing here is mixing white with the red to make, of course, a pink color. But the whole point is to make it just a little bit lighter than the actual berries, and that is for the highlight. So that is to make them really look round. And I never save this sort of thing. I just mix them up on the side of the bottle and wipe them off when I'm done. It's a bit of a waste, I'm sure, of product, but it seems in the moment to be the easiest way to do that. I do have a tile, I have a palette, but you know, by the time I dig it out, if I only need a little tiny bit like that, the side of the bottle is just as efficient. So I'm throwing that back in the light for a minute. Wiping off my dotting tool, making sure my iPad doesn't go to sleep. So the next thing I'm doing is coming into my black because I've done the highlight on the berries, but now I need to do the low light. So I am drawing in a little half moon low light in the bottom of the berries. We're getting towards the last step here. So again, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I really like to once a week do these little work with me kind of unstructured videos. I think there's value in this because we do 
tend to, like when I post a tutorial, it's edited. Um, and, and this is very raw, and I, I just think there's value in the rawness of it. But I hope you've enjoyed, and yes, of course, any questions down below again. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. On Mondays, I try to post a vlog um, from the salon, and on Fridays, I try to post a work with me. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.